All right, I have not vlogged all day. I've been cleaning and getting things organized. Probably because I deep down thought this was gonna happen, I guess, I don't know. Well, I didn't actually think this was gonna happen, but anyway, we had our appointment at the gynecologist. And basically I'm getting induced tomorrow, but I'll, I'll kind of like explain the details as well. So, um, we walked in, he said, Oh, I got a phone call. I think it's time to have the baby now. <laughs> and we were like, okay. Oh, and then basically everything's fine. She's just doing like failure to thrive in the womb. So like we like, like they, they want to get her out so she can thrive and still keep growing and stuff and like get breast milk and whatnot and grow. Cause she's like not like being in my womb isn't doing much for her right now. Um, all the amniotic fluid was normal. The blood flow from the placenta to her was normal. Like basically everything is like really good with her. Um, just she's not thriving. My belly's shrinking, he said, or something. Um, oh yeah, he tried to do a stretch and sweep of my uterus um, to get my labor going. Cause that's what inducing is, is getting the labor going early or if you've gone over or whatever. And he couldn't get it cause I have a tilted uterus so he couldn't reach it or whatever. Um, so tomorrow morning at 7.30 in the morning, I have to go into the hospital to get the gels done. If you don't know what all this stuff is, just to like go check it out on Google because I kind of like know, but I kind of don't know at the same time. I've never done inducing before or whatever. Um, then they'll probably do another set of gels in the afternoon, but it, it, it all just depends how everything goes. So my pain relief of choice was the gas and we can't have the gas at the moment because of the COVID-19. So my next option was the epidural. So they're going to do all the prep work for the epidural early so that when I, like when I want it or if I want it, they can just like put it in. Um, her estimated birth weight at the moment is 2.5 kilos, which is five. I think it's about five and a half pound. Five and a half pound or something like that. So she's pretty small, but everything's like healthy with her. So it's good. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect to be having a baby tomorrow, but I, could, I very well could be. Um, as I said, the induction starts in the morning, but every, I think inductions happen different for different people. So I could have her by tomorrow or, or the next day. So I probably won't be posting in the next couple of days, I guess, because of that. You could have a baby. Yeah. So I don't know how everything's going to go, but uh, we are going to try and film a bit, but we're not going to be <clears> like freaking out filming everything because, you know, mm. just trying to be in the moment, get shit done. Um, and I can't film much, obviously. I can only film... Like after she's here and I can be like, hey guys, meet the baby. We still don't have a name by the way, so that's fun. <laughs> not prepared in that way. But Jesse will try and get a bit of footage on his phone. I'm not going to like bring out the vlog camera because they're pretty weird about that like filming in birthing rooms and stuff here in Australia. But obviously it's normal to have your phone to take photos and stuff. So I'll get Jesse to film a bit. Like if I do some funny stuff, some... If I'm, when I'm in labour, obviously I'll film a bit. <clears throat> uh, I kind of can't wait to see you with the epidural because like... Does it make you loopy or no? Nah, it just numbs you, I think. Oh, okay. I was hoping to make you go What was the other drug they said that I could have? Fentanyl. It's, yeah, it's, fentanyl uh, is it's like a narcotic. narcotic. But apparently it goes under your skin. Yeah, I think I've heard of it. I've it's never like, heard of it. But I'm going to go straight for the epidural, I think. Like, yeah, I don't know. She's pretty small, but I still think I'm going to... I think I'll do the epidural. I haven't been induced before, so this is all going to be like everything's going to be new. Never <laughs> had an epidural before. Huh? Never been an had any kind of anaesthetic... I don't think. Well, besides dental work, is that anaesthetic? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had that, but I haven't had anything. But yeah, there's a little update for you. Um, I'm probably going to post this vlog like tonight, so then you all know what's happening. And I'm up to date with vlogs and stuff, so pretty much the next vlog will be like my labour or whatever and delivery. Um, but yeah, Jackson kind of like it doesn't really get it. I kind of told him, and he was just like, okay, whatever. Caden's like, you're joking. He's really excited. Oh, uh, for the kids. So Mima's going to come over in the morning. She's going to be here all day. And then she can also just call up Peter and Jason or even Jesse's parents if she needs a hand with anything or needs to go somewhere or something. Um, but she's pretty much going to be here all day because, uh, I don't know, with in inducing, I, I don't know mm. if sometimes mm. it doesn't go fast for people. Other times it does. So I don't know if Jesse needs to stay there the whole time or not. I guess we'll find out. Um... Yeah, I'm just chattering on now because I, I think I've updated on everything. I'm trying to remember because we got the form, but it's all like doctor talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, so we're going to have some dinner now, I think, and then 
I'm probably gonna have a shower tonight because I had uh, gel or whatever. <laughs> Like lubrication like, because like he, I know he tr he tried to do a stretch and sweep which he had to go in there so I want to like get washed and clean for my gels or whatever I guess. Plus they have to closely monitor me and the baby because the baby's so small just to make sure she doesn't go into distress um, because that's that can happen with small babies. So I won't be able to get up too much I don't think. Um, and I'm gonna have to pack some shit to do. I've got my bags packed obviously. Um, Pay the switch. Yeah, I could take the Switch and play games. Hmm. Yeah. Play Monopoly by myself. Make you do it. Make you play some Monopoly with me, mate. <laughs> or you could get me some Animal Crossing, mate. Send you off to go get me Animal Crossing. If it's available anyway. I don't know. Yeah, I think they've got a target, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Nick and Gabby are here, they bring Din Dins. We were here before too, we didn't get them. Nah, because I, I haven't been waiting today. Down. All right, it's been a little while. Um, I jumped in the bath and had a nice bath. Then Jesse and I've just been getting everything ready for tomorrow. He went and um, cleaned out the car and put the car seat in. I got. I have Jackson Jackson's seat, and I feel like a criminal. You are a criminal. Uh, I, I got this co-sleeper thing out and got it ready. You have to move that though. Yeah, I know. Made a bassinet, um, but took out all the choking hazards. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all ready. Got this ready. Okay. <sighs> All right. I think I'm going to go jump on the computer and get this vlog edited so I'm all up to date. I think we got most of the stuff done. I didn't get everything done that I wanted to do, but it's fine. I'll get it done at some point. But everything is ready to go for tomorrow. I just have a couple of last minute things I need to put in my bag in the morning. And then it'll be time. Are you excited that you're going to have your sister tomorrow? Is that exciting? Yay! Yes. yes. Alright, go to sleep then, okay? Are you excited you're gonna have a sissy tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Alright, come on, get your jammies on and get ready for bed, dude. I wanna. You have to, now move it. Alright, anyway, I'm going to end the vlog, charge this battery, and I guess I will see you when I have the baby. Or well if she decides to come tomorrow. Um so yeah, wish me luck. Bye.